The 11th clause of the ISO 27002 standard is called Supplier Relationships. It has two categories, and the first is called Information Security in Supplier Relationships. The objective of this category is to safeguard assets from suppliers' unauthorized access or unsupervised activities. This category has three controls, and the first is called Information Security Policy for Supplier Relationships. An organization's relationship with the supplier should be defined, regulated, and controlled. A policy should be developed that states the organization's security requirements in regards to its suppliers. To mitigate risks associated with suppliers' relationships, an organization should define what type of suppliers is allowed access to its information assets, and the extent of this access. This access should be always monitored and supervised, and covered in the agreement with the suppliers. Information provided by suppliers and third parties should be checked for integrity and accuracy. Information accessed by the suppliers should be protected depending on its sensitivity. For example, confidential information should be protected by non-disclosure terms in the agreements. Handling of incidents and issues that occur with the supplier should be covered in the agreement. The organization's personnel should be trained on how to interact with suppliers, and be aware of the level of access that they have. Employees should not divulge information that the supplier has no authorization and no need to know. Information or systems transfers should be adequately secured.